be the quiz at Saderac. You know. <laughs> the last star. So yeah, Beverly Hills Cop, Karate Kid, Friday the 13th, point, <clears throat> part four, Ghostbusters yeah. is a Terminator. You're I done. Have, I have Temple of Doom, Red Dawn, Buckaroo Banzai, Night of the Comet, and The Last Starfighter. You're meat, brother. I'm that five You're pounds of meat, meat that's sitting in uh, in someone's intestines. That's it. That's it. You know, you're done. This you're, is, you're, a yeah. piece, you're a piece of shit in Big Al's turtle tank. I want to look at my team and be like, this isn't my locker. Um, no, it's not. It's dude, not. that line by Paul Reiser in these two movies, when he gets the car and he wrecks it and like. Yeah. What a deep bench this is, movies. This is two years before Paul Reiser forever stains himself in my eyes as the worst human being in existence. Aliens? In aliens. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been able to watch Paul Reiser in anything after Aliens and regard him with anything less than a side eye. Like, <laughs> I don't trust word you say, bro. And it's to his it's to his credit because he nails that, bro. You there's you don't t- dude. Do you think it's easier to believe Paul Reiser as the dude in Aliens who sacrifices 147 colonists? Or as the guy in Mad About You who's in love with Helen Hunt. Seriously. Seriously, bro. Seriously. Don't lie to me. I think they ended up breaking up in that. <laughs> That's another thing. They did. He's a piece of shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's a piece. Even Helen Hunt was like, you know what? I can't deal with you, Burke. I'm just mad at you. <laughs> she's, she's not mad about you. She's mad at you, son. <laughs> Like, shut up. Oh, man. Well, this was fun. Thank you so much for joining me, Norbert. Yo, man. I love you. Never I think, forget. I think we had our first fight, man, about uh, the Night of the Comet. Uh, again, you know, I mean, it's a movie, and things happen in it. And That's it's true. kind of a zombie movie. It's weird. Yeah, it's more of a comedy. But there I, are Uzis. I, yeah, there are Uzis, because it's the 80s, and Uzis were a thing. Because of crack. Love- I just love that scene where they're shooting machine guns, and she's like, "Yeah, Daddy would have given us Uzis." Yeah. <laughs> like, what happened? Well, this is all, dude. I'm so happy I got to catch up on this and learn a lot about this, about Beverly Hills Cop, and I'm really glad you recommended this, man. So thank you. No so much. problem. No problem, brother. And remember, anytime you need to write a screenplay for the rest of your life, just start with city name and job. Right? Beverly Hills Cop. New York City firefighter, you know, you can Whoa. do it like that. Whoa. You can do it like California waste city management. Name. City name, yeah, city name. Cal- California. Oh yeah, state. yeah. Okay, Tampa. Tampa Bay miner. I don't know. Tampa Bay drug dealer. Ta- wow, that's dark. That's a dark movie right there. You see what I'm saying? That's you Spring Breakers. Right? All right, Forest Hills. <laughs> Forest Hills butcher. Right. That could be a horror movie, or it could be a comedy about a guy who works in a butcher shop. The possibilities are endless. I got to do one good one before I get out of here. <laughs> Colorado <laughs> Cleaner? Colorado no, wait, no, sick. Denver. No, nah, Denver Omelet. <laughs> Denver Omelet is a food. <laughs> Denver, Denver Omelet maker. It's got to be a job. Okay, so that's Denver Chef, or Denver Sous Chef, or Denver Grill Master. Uh, you know, I called horseshoes the other day. I called them um, <laughs> silver feet. <laughs> you know what? Hang up the phone. I'm done with you. <laughs> All right. So for me, Mark Hoffman, for Norbert Morvan, this is the St. Petersburg Slasher. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. <laughs>